I took my Porsche up there years ago. That really? was fun. So I'm sure it was. This, yeah, definitely got to do this one. For sure. This week we're going to take a look at this beautiful Ferrari 458 Italia. This is the first 458 we've had on the show, our second Ferrari. Once again in the presence of automotive royalty. We're going to take it around these back roads and see what it does. That's what we got coming up. I'm Jay Walker. Watch your life off road right here on Jet Up Motorsports. Welcome back to another episode of Life Off Road. Thanks for giving hitting that play button, folks. Remember to go to my YouTube channel, hit the thumbs up button, like and subscribe. Really helps us out. The vehicle we're featuring this week is a 458 Ferrari Italia. Once again, we are in the presence of automotive royalty. This is a beautiful car from the first point you look at it. I mean, it's very astonishing. You know, this was the successor to the F430 from Ferrari. And when they went to this body style, it really just changed the whole dynamic of the car man it was a very very beautiful body style they had a lot of cues from the enzo that they created back in the early 2000s and um it was a very nice styling car this is actually the last naturally aspirated ferrari that they did um back then it had a 4.5 liter v8 pumping out roughly around 570 horsepower this one is pretty unique i mean it's has some updated wheels on it and um, I want to go ahead and bring the owner out here and talk more further about this car. Let's bring in my good buddy Daryl. Daryl, what's going on buddy? How much man? How you doing? Good, good, good. Cool. Man, first off man, this is an absolute beautiful car man. Thank I you mean, man. Thank you. Appreciate how long that. have you had it? Uh, going on my, about my third year. April will be three years. I bought it for my birthday. Oh nice. Uh, back in April. Nice uh, birthday present. Yeah, for yeah you. three so, years ago. April. So you are you a Taurus? Or? I'm an Aries. Aries. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. You're a couple of weeks before me. Yes, all sir. Right. That's all right. That's yeah. All right. Um, man, what year is this one? 2014. 2014. Yep. Nice. Got right. 16,000 miles on it right 16, now. 16,000. Okay. Yep. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Now, is this your first one or? Have you this is my second one. I had a 2007 F430. Nice. Uh, before I had this one, and um, I really loved the F430 because of the body. Yeah. And the particular one I had, I kind of kept putting a little bit of money into it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the guy that uh, at Ferrari said, you know, why don't you, you know, trade this car in? Mm -hmm. You'll you'll love the 458. You know, 10 years of uh, the computer, and, and he said it just rides a lot better. Right. So I said okay. So I kind of started browsing online and. Ran across this one. I was looking for a red one. Yeah. And I didn't love this car when I first saw it because it had a red interior. Really? And it was up in Greensboro at Foreign Cars Italia. Okay. And the guy called me and said, hey, you know, I see you looking at this car. I go, yeah, but I'm not feeling this red interior. And he's like, oh, you got to see it in person. Yeah. And so I drove five hours. Yeah, Greensboro's a nice <laughs> right. little hop. So I got up on 85 one yeah. morning and it was raining and went up to Greensboro and it was on the showroom floor. And as soon as I walked up on it. I fell in love with it and I told him, okay, I'll buy it. It's not that <laughs> shiny red, Man. you know, and then, you know, eventually just 
uh, you know, really, really, really love the car, the combination of the Grigio and the red. I interior. was just about to ask you, what paint is this? Grigio oh, Titanium. Titanium, man, this yeah. is beautiful. So, man. yeah, so the, so the combo, I get it a lot of compliments. It definitely pops, yeah. Yeah, and it grew red. on me. Like I said, it had to grow on me because I had red in mind yeah. in the F430 I'd had for about three years. Yeah. And so I definitely wanted a red car. But yeah. when I got this car, taking it to the car shows, everybody drools over Oh, the, yeah. The, the Grigio and the red interior. So. Yeah, the red, it's, it's just killer, man. The Ferrari yeah. red, I mean, it's a perfect. Yeah, so I like I said, I eventually fell in love with it myself and uh, loved the car. Cool, Loved cool, the car cool. a lot. Yes, sir. Now, the 430 you had, was that a, a hard top as well or was it? It was bike? coupe oh, as okay, well. Cool. I think okay. these cars look best in coupe, mainly yeah. because of the motor. Right. That's how I fell in love with the F430. Mm -hmm. I was in Japan in 2007, mm -hmm. ironically, and walked, out, walked outside of the Ritz-Carlton and next door was a Ferrari dealership. Okay. And so I walked up on this F430, the first thing I saw was the motor. Right. And I was like, wow, yeah. this is crazy. It just grabs I love this because I could see the motor. Right. I said, one day I'm gonna own one of these cars, try to own one of these cars. <laughs> right. And so years later, I ended up buying that same car that I saw. Wow. Same model, same specs everything wow and uh so that's why i liked the uh the coupe because yeah. the motors display that's a big part of the car to me yeah it is it's definitely a big feature the attractive you know? part of walking up on the car right and being able to gaze inside, gaze inside and see yeah the motor i mean the spider is a pretty car yeah but you don't get to see the motor you don't really get to see the motor yeah <laughs> I, I remember as a matter of fact the last spider is probably in the 430s they still had the, the clear panel but it wasn't right. it was yeah you're right extravagant like you this. couldn't yeah it was, it was a little kind of condensed it's, right but you know the the 458 has a really big right. glass display right which i love yeah so i can either pop the hood or not pop you don't even have, yeah you don't have to because people still yeah will gaze down in there they can see it so i love that feature of the car yeah so yeah beautiful man have you done anything otherwise just any modifications to it uh, uh I see of course i changed the wheels right now who did the wheels for you uh a company called wheels boutique wheels boutique okay yeah i Florida. follow them on instagram they yep. got some found the wheel stuff. i wanted and a buddy of mine named keaton uh did the setup, did the configuration for okay. me because he was a little more knowledgeable than I was. Right. So sent it up to Ferrari of Atlanta and they uh, put the springs on it and shocks and Overtech springs and um, it lowered it down a little bit. Okay. And uh, I put the front lip on, which uh, really protects the car. Right. So if I hit the lip, I don't really get mad because right. I know it's not the body of the car. <laughs> right. So it's sort of like twofold, you know, it looks right. good but it also protects the car. Right. And other than that, I uh, put a little rear, rear fin on. Yeah, I've noticed know, that. Which just, everything I put on just kind of attaches. So if I had right. to take it off, okay. I could take it off. I didn't do any drilling into the, to the rear. I didn't want to drill into the car. Right. So I could just easily take that off. But other than that, that's it. Uh, I'm the second owner. The guy that ordered the car ordered it like this. Just like this? Yeah, with the carbon roof. Everybody loves that. Yeah, the carbon is, yeah, this this is the, the phenomenon, yes, man. I mean, yeah. it's, I, I love this when yeah, you have the too. carbon fiber. So other than that, that's it. There's nothing else I'm going to do to the car. It's, it's, it's yeah. like it's going to be, you know. So you going to hang on to this one pretty much? I think I'm going to hang on to it for a while. And if, if I get another one, I still may keep this one. Yeah. Because it's kind of unique. Yeah, it, it is. It, it know, really is. It's probably so, the uh, cleanest 458 I've seen. Yeah. And I actually haven't run across anything that I really love. Right. I was looking at a Pista for a yeah, while. 488. Yeah, but it still wasn't. Well, most of my buddies said my car looked better than the Pista. So <laughs> I was like, okay. Yeah. You know, so I'm, I'm going to hang on to it for a while. And if I find something else, I, I still think I'll, I'll hang on. I won't get rid of this one. Yeah, yeah hang this, on to this, this one. body style is really, like I said, when they came out with this body style, it really changed. I, I think mean, it's the best of all the bodies. Yeah. Like you said, it's got a little bit of Enzo. It's got a little bit of 488. Yeah. So it's kind of like what I would call the perfect body right. of Ferrari. It doesn't go too far. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's just still enough. got smooth lines. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I love the body because I love the body of the F430. Yeah, I lot. did too. That's that was one of my body. favorite ones. You know, that was right. the 430 came right after the 360 Modena and, and those. And, uh, right. It was a, a good style. Yeah, so I, I love the body of this. It's still smooth in the back. And uh, yeah, just a sleek, still sleek and sporty. Yeah. And uh, yep, great, great car, great driving car. It is a great driving car. Now, when so, you put the wheels on here, did, did it 
did the, I know Ferrari of Atlanta did all the, the suspension work. Did they mount the wheels as well? Or did you have the car yes. shipped down to Miami? They no, they all, mounted. They, they did everything. They, yeah, up they there? did everything. Yes, okay. the Ferrari. Yeah, we just these are them. like some three piece. Are these three three piece, piece wheels? wheels. Yeah, okay. we had them made and then we had them sent to Ferrari. Okay, and they you know they mounted and balanced and um, yeah, like very, I said, did the springs and the shocks. It's very uh, nice. A couple of shocks were bad in the back, so we replaced those right. to get it to sit the way that it uh, needed to sit. Yeah, because these came out, I believe. The regular set of Ferrari wheels, you had the 245s, yeah. um, probably 19s or 20s on them, I'm yeah. not sure. And then the rears was like maybe 295, so you yeah. made a big jump. You got probably 255, yeah. 265s up Yeah, there. and I wanted to fill that gap in. You know, Ferraris yeah. are known to having that sort of big gap in the back, yeah. in the front. So we wanted to fill that in, make it look a little more aggressive, a little more stout. Yeah. So I you, love the way that the car sits. You definitely and, got uh, some meat back here too. Oh yeah, it's a little meat. I mean, yeah, 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 some meat back there. So. Yeah. Yeah. Let's it's take a up. quick look at the uh, interior real, real yes, quick. Yes, sir. Show off the Ferrari red inside. And you have your carbon fiber gauges. Very sweet setup, man. This guy, you know, the first owner really spected it out. I mean, that's he did. I he, didn't have to do yeah. too much. Yeah, yeah. You know, he I did it real good. My job. little, you know, other than the wheels, of course, being the biggest cost. Right. Everything else was just small cosmetic little replacements. You know, the cup holder and the, you know, the the window uh, shifts and all that. Right. Just replacing one with with something else. Right. Yeah, it's very nice. Very attention to detail. Ferraris always have a unique interior when it comes to the gauge cluster, just how everything is set up. It's very yeah. F1 style as far as your race mode. This is basically yeah. a race car. That's what, and that's what the guy says. That it's a race car first. Yeah. It is a race car. Yeah. You know, so like you said, they keep with that whole race car display, the cluster, right. putting things right where they need to be. This, everything is right in front right. of you from the, yes, <laughs> the turn signals, the horn, it's everything right there. is right yes, there. It is right there. Man. Yeah. The only thing I couldn't find was the windshield wipers because I never drive it in the rain, but I got right. caught one day and I was oh, man, you looking around. I couldn't, find, <laughs> couldn't turn the wipers on. I eventually found them, but uh, yeah. Man. So yeah, they make it, uh, it's sweet. It's a comfortable, it's a comfortable ride. Yeah. Have you been on any road trips in this or just, have you taken no. any? No, I don't, I don't go far. Okay. You know, a couple of car things and get back home before dark. Yeah. You know, put him up. So yeah. Yeah. Just, just take him out every now and then, spin him around. Yes, sir. Let's take a look at this engine real quick. Yes, sir. Show off the 4.5 liter V8. And like I said, folks, this was the last naturally aspirated V8 they put in the Ferraris. Right. So it was no twin turbos. When they came out with the 488s, they put the twin turbos on. And I believe they went to a smaller displacement. I think a 3.9 in those. But this yes, is sir. the last naturally aspirated. So I'm sure it probably goes and shifts hard. Oh, yeah, shifts. It's quick. There's no lag. It's Made it too that's hard. what I love. It's, uh, it's, it's race car. It's F1 ready. It's right. There's no lag. It just goes. So now back here, all I did was replace this with the carbon, okay. with carbon piece. And so they sold a whole carbon kit. But it was yeah, too much carbon for me. Right. So when I went up to Greensboro, I saw a car that a guy had ordered. Mm -hmm. And what he did was these panels here that were black. Mm -hmm. When he ordered the car, they were the color of the car. They were purple. Hmm. So what I did when I got back, uh, my buddy Roy, who does some uh, aftermarket work on it, he pulled these out and we wow. color coded them and painted them the wow. body of the car. I thought I just thought it. <laughs> when you first look at it, it looks like that's how the car was. Yeah. Was built. And I Man, like it. I like it because instead yeah. of being dark, yeah, you can see when you it close more. the bonnet, yeah. you can actually see. Yeah. That it shows really well, even through the screen. Yeah. It still shows. And so, yeah, it was just simply just pulled those three pieces we pulled out and painted them the Grigio Titanio. Yeah. And everybody loves that. And I love it too because it made it brighter back here instead yeah. of being dark. And the red just here. pops, it just yeah. adds to it. Makes and the it carbon kit was too much carbon. Yeah. Way, I like a little bit of carbon. Yeah. So I replaced this piece, this piece, that's it, and painted these. And uh, I actually have this piece in carbon in the garage up there in that box. Oh, okay. That I didn't want to put you it on. You want to put it on? Yeah, because I love the, uh, I love the paint better yeah, than I did the carbon. This is perfect, man. I mean, that's he he did a great job with it. I, I just knew just this is how the car came. Just yeah, no, uh -uh. just that, replacing yeah, those two. Yeah. And having those painted. 
and he did a great job painting them, you know. And uh, I've told a couple of guys that have, you know, four, five, eights, what right. I did to it. And they said they're going to they're gonna do the same. Gonna do the same thing. Yeah, they yeah. should. It adds to it. Like if you had a red, four, five, eight, and if these were red, yeah, it would just make the yeah, you know, this engine bay pop even more. Yeah, rather than being just dark. Yeah, and black. You know. So yeah, I, I love that about uh, back yeah, here. Yeah, it like I it did. just makes the whole. It just makes it lighter and everything, especially on a day like today. Is yeah, it just shows off everything. Yeah, and my daughter added the pure saying, "If you can see, you can barely see it." Yeah, but I like it because you can barely see. It. Yeah. She kind of exacto knife it out of a sticker. Nice. And we, we, she added that that touch to it. You know, it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Thank you. I yes, believe sir. these were made it to the the seven speed dual clutch yes. transmissions. Yep. Yeah. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yeah. Good yeah. deal. Me too. Coming out through here. That's a great. Yeah, similar feature, to man. the F four thirty that were more mm -hmm. up in here, but still kept the body smooth. Right. One of the things I didn't care about. Side yeah. quarter panel in here, and it just kind of I yeah. thought it messed up the flow. It's yeah. good looking. It looks I I, I like those, but I, I yeah. get your point with that because you know this I mean? is a lot more now, now that I've been up close. It's just close smoother. This, yeah, it's just a smooth. Yeah, going all the way back to mm -hmm. here that I love a little bit better than the, where they cut into the 488. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. hard to believe that this car is, is 10 years old, man. Yeah, I mean, 10 years old. It just looks like exactly. it's, it's just 10 years old. Like you just rolled off the showroom floor. Yeah. I keep it pretty, you know, clean, wipe on it a lot. Right. After I drive it, bring it back, wipe it down. Yeah. I get back here in the engine bay after it cools down. Yeah, just kind of just, yeah. Yeah, I don't let it accumulate. Right. You know, just to keep it uh, clean back there. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Part of the whole process of it. Wipe on it a little bit, drive it a little bit. Yeah. Look at it a little bit. Yeah. The guy told me that once. I said, okay, I yeah. get you. Yeah. 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 He said they call it art on wheels. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, I love it. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing man. wrong with it at all. Yeah. Yes, sir. We're ready. Yeah. Well, this is such a pretty day. Um, I would love to take this out for a drive. Can we take it out for a ride? Absolutely. That's right. Let's go for Built a ride. Built to be driven. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're in the 458 Italia. Now I really appreciate you having us on board, man. Oh yeah, man. Thanks for uh, you know doing a little feature on me. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. It's sweet, man. And, uh, beautiful day out here, man. You couldn't ask for a perfect day. Oh yeah, perfect day. So day. glad. I love driving when it's sunny. Oh yeah. I don't care how cold it is, but yeah. as long as it's dry and sunny, yeah, I'm in. So yeah, absolutely. Man, that exhaust. Is this still the factory exhaust? No, yeah, I put a uh, S line exhaust. S line, on. okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I gotta slow down through here because it'll break the little bit. Yeah. Bit, uh -huh. Are you in manual mode right now, or are you just driving it? Uh, in, uh, I'm driving it, yeah, manual. Uh, okay. Mm, the auto is okay, it just doesn't. Yeah, doesn't so you pretty much drive it manual all the time? Yeah, they say it's the, the best part. way to drive it. Yeah. Yep. Yes, indeed, man. This is uh, <laughs> this is something. The Ferrari experience, folks. Yes, sir. A guy told me, he said, once you're on a Ferrari, you'll always own one. You're always own one. I was like, okay, when I bought this one, I said, yeah, he's right. Yeah. I'll, I won't go back. I may own some other cars, but yeah. I'll always own a Ferrari. So this is pretty much your weekend worry when you get a chance to drive Oh, yeah, stage. probably every, with weather permitting, probably every three weeks. Okay. I don't take it out a lot. Yeah. You know, uh... Yeah, folks, when these came out, like I said, these, you know, supercar era, they were lightning quick, man. It was over there. Like, I remember testing these at Nürburgring in Germany, and they had some very impressive times back then. There's nothing more perfect than a naturally aspirated V8, man. Yeah, I love it. That's why I 
what what keep it. You know. What yeah. I mean? For that reason. Too. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it just hits different. It's so much different than an the, the American V8. Yeah. I mean, it's just yeah. a different different style. And I didn't know that when I bought it that it was the last naturally aspirated. You know, yeah. I learned that later. Which I said, okay, even more reason to hang on to. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, because I'm not a big engine guy. Yeah. I'm not a speed freak. Yeah. I like to have some power back there if I need it. But, yeah. You know, so. Uh, but yeah, once I found that out, I go, okay. Well, yeah. It's like when you need it, you can. You oh can yeah, get it's it. back there. Yeah. Yeah, it's back there. It runs good. And I know these came with a nine thousand tax, so you can really stretch its legs. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can wind it out. Oh yeah, we're man. winding out for it. That's why in auto mode it just keeps shifting so yeah. fast. And, you know, I do it when I'm lazy. Like in the mornings, I had the caffeine. Yeah, I put it in great. auto because I'm just cruising up. Right. Anyway, you know what I mean? So yeah, it's a good time to drive it then. Right. And this is sport mode. This isn't race mode. Race, race mode is like everything just really tightens. Really. I mean, just like if you can imagine it driving better in a better race mode, which yeah. I hardly ever do. I can count probably on three fingers how many times I've... You actually put it in there? Yeah. You ever hit... I, I know these have the... I think it's the bumpy road mode or something. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, I heard that was a pretty great feature on these. It's a good feature, but I wish that they had put the lift on this car. Yeah. It's so low. The year after, they started adding... Adding the lifts to it. Especially because I lowered the car, so I have to be extra careful. But I wish they had, you know, added the right. so take us to the two lane. It opens up. Okay. And you say you really didn't notice the difference of, from the other wheels to this, as far as the ride. Mm -hmm. This is just yeah, it's the same. It sat low, you know, it wasn't as low, you know, but it's, it's not like you say, oh wow, there's a big difference. It's like yeah, the ride's good. Folks, I guess we could say we actually have, like I said at the beginning of the video, automotive royalty with this particular car, but we actually have royalty in the car because Daryl is a music writer. He's written hits for so many people. I'm going to let him just kind of give you a rundown of who all the artists he's worked with. Uh, work with Boys to Men, TLC, Tony Braxton. Uh, Aretha Franklin, Monica, Escape, so Michael so Jackson, so 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 uh, Elton John, uh, a lot of different people. Tevin Campbell. Right. Yeah. Oh, you know, the face catalog. The man. face Usher catalog. Man. You know, work with everybody. Outcast. So back in the day. Yeah. Yes, sir. So a lot of people I met Kevin. I mean, Daryl. Excuse me. At the uh, Caffeine Octane. Actually, we first met at the Ferrari Italia Day last year. Oh, that year. was it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, Ferrari. Yeah. Okay. And um, I saw your car out there, and he was talking, and his crew, Joey and his crew, we did a video for Joey. Joey's the one that had the, the 488. Yeah. And we're getting a hold of Andrew probably next weekend, weather permitting. But a lot of guys, like Joey told me what he did off the side when I first met him a couple of years ago. Yeah. I normally just, you know, when we meet up like today, I kind of just ask everybody kind of their background. Yeah, right yeah, now. absolutely. So once you said that and you showed us the cave, man, and <laughs> I'm telling you folks, you just see it's just music history, man. I'm like a kid in the candy store because this is a, a lot of history in here, man. Like I said, from Babyface, Tony Braxton, I mean, it's, this is the guy right here. You see his name on all those albums, I mean. Grammy Award winning. I mean, you have all the awards, the accolades. It's just such an honor to be it, riding with you, man. Hey, man. I really appreciate it. Appreciate you letting me, uh, you know, be on your show. Feature my car. I love my car. So I grew up with music and cars. So, yeah. you know, uh, yep, just my thing. You know? Yeah, man. And then you said this is your second Ferrari. I mean, yeah, second Ferrari. Won't be my last. Yeah. You know, there'll be, I'm sure there'll be others. I'll see something and snatch it up. But yeah, I love them. I love them. I always admired them as a kid and then as an adult. And But knowing that I would never be able to afford one. Right. So uh, my first 
real sports car was a Porsche. I had a 996 okay. uh, Porsche that I loved. I kept it for like 12 years. Wow. And so I was going to upgrade it to a GT3. Yeah, I really like those. I like those. And my son was like, well, you've always liked Ferrari. And I'm like, eh, I don't know. <clears throat> and once I kind of started browsing and found the F430, I fell in love with it, man. So, yeah, yeah I'm a Ferrari guy for life, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Just the history, the design, for several reasons. You right. know, just, uh, just an interesting, you know, car. I have books. I read the history on Enzo Ferrari and how he started the company. And, yeah. You know, it's just uh, very intriguing. Yeah. And that got me into watching F F1, Formula One Formula racing. Formula One racing, yeah. So, I, we uh, just recently started watching it, probably a few years ago, because I'm yeah. a big NASCAR guy. Yeah. But I've uh, so, recently uh, got into Formula One. Yeah. So I'm real excited that Lewis Hamilton will be driving Formula One. Yeah, yeah, year. that's right. Next year, yeah, this is last year Mercedes. Yeah, yeah that's so right. Be with Ferrari, so that's going to be, yeah, that's that's gonna gonna be, be something. even better. Yeah. Yeah, because I follow him a lot. So, yeah. Yeah, looking, looking forward to that and seeing him in that Ferrari red. Yeah, man. Yeah, that'll be cool. Yes, it's not gonna hurt to have the, the, the company cars driving the oh, yeah. cars as well, man. That's yeah, yeah, he's got a couple. I think he's got a La Ferrari. And yeah, oh, nice. Got, yeah, he's got a couple of them. So it'll be cool, though. Now, have you been to Italy to the, the, the manufacturing plant over there? No, I ha I'm planning. Yeah, I need to go to Marinello. Yeah. yeah, that's one of my on my bucket list. Yeah, I want to go over yeah. there as well. So it's gonna widen out up here. We can blow more whenever you want. But yeah, definitely, it's on my bucket list big time. I've yeah. been in Italy, but I was there for a short time for a wedding, and I didn't get to, I wasn't on my own time. Right, you know I mean? right. So, uh, definitely, it's on my bucket list, high on the list. Right, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, got to see where it's made, you know. So, do you and those guys keep in touch, L.A. and Babyface, are y'all talking? Yeah, Babyface, about? we grew up together. Oh, okay. We're childhood friends. We have, we've been friends for 50 years. So oh, wow. Yeah, I talk to them every day. Wow. Yeah, but wow. uh, L.A., not so much. Yeah. You know, he's doing some other things. But me and Face, we talk every day. Okay. Yeah. He's but, out in L.A. right now? Is he? Oh, just... he's got a show in Miami. He's in Miami today. Oh, okay. Yeah, then he's headed back home to the uh, Oscars and Vanity Fair Park. Right. So he's, this dude's all over the place. Man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, he's not into cars. He's really. <laughs> he's got a Tesla and something, but he's not. In, he just drives them. He's not into cars. Oh <laughs> wow! He's he straight crazy at one hundred. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yep. He's he's not a car guy. That's something. Yep. I would have never imagined. He got a lot of that. guitars, but I'm sure he. Oh man, I'm sure he's his got, house probably is full of. Oh, he's got Sam so many dudes. Oh yeah. Stuff. You know, yeah, he's got so much stuff. Yeah. Yeah, wards, guitars, and yeah, yeah. So you, so you're from Indiana as well? Or? Well, from Indianapolis. Okay. Yeah, we were just at the All Star Game a few weeks ago. Right. The National anthem. That's right. I've been watching. Yeah, we sat out on the floor. Okay. okay. Me, Donnie Wahlberg. Yeah. Uh, Jack Joe, Lil Wayne. Probably go back to that footage. Look at go, see yeah. If I recognize. Oh yeah, I'll you show you some there. stuff I took, some video and shit, but I yeah. took it was cool. Okay. Yeah, because I didn't even know all this time. I didn't know. Was from yeah, 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 that's where we grew up. Yeah, and okay. Mike Epps is from there. Right. Mm -hmm. So who got into music first? Probably him or all y'all just kind of. We grew up together playing music. music his brothers right. were doing music because his older brothers, you know, yeah. Melvin, that ended up in After Seven. Yeah. They were doing music, so we looked up to them. Okay. You know? and then later on, when we got on, he reached back and brought Melvin and Kevin out to California, and you know, okay. we did a, did an album on them After Seven and. Yeah, but they were doing music, but we were growing up. Okay. Did you work on the new, after, it's probably not the, the Tomorrow mm. Can't Wait? Did you? No, uh, last after seven was Timeless that me and Face did. Yeah, okay. Which is their best one in recent times, if you listen to that album. It's like old school shit. Right, right. Great songs on there that we did. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I love some after seven. Oh yeah, they're my guys. Yeah. I talk to Kevin all the time too. So what all instruments did you play? I grew up playing drums. Okay. I started playing drums, got a set of drums when I was nine. But then I wanted to write songs. I couldn't write songs on the drums, so yeah. I bought me a piano and just started figuring it out. Oh, wow. So I play by ear, write by ear. Okay. I can't read music, but... Hit, yeah, hit the Chevron up here. Yeah, but I can write it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So yeah, that's how I started. Face always played guitar, so he wrote. Then right. he eventually started playing the piano. Okay. So that's primarily how we, uh, you know, we write. 
we did as kids, man. You know, cats was out running around chasing girls. And yeah. We were writing songs about girls. <laughs> so, you know, write those songs and playing for them at school. And, you know, they were like, Y'all oh, was doing all the talent shows. And talent the, shows, yeah. Yep. And man. eventually he started playing in the clubs, you know. And so uh, one thing led to another. So, hey, we need to get out of Indianapolis because nothing was there. Right. And we got to try to make this thing work. So it was either New York or L.A. Yeah. And then, you know, went to L.A. The thing I also love about driving these is that the, the paddles don't move, you know. Oh yeah, it's all right the, there. Yeah. yeah. It's all right, it's all convenient. It's right there for you. Yeah, it moves pretty pretty it good. Get up. <laughs> get up quick, absolutely. Yes, sir. So once y'all moved to L.A., that's kind of pretty much where everything got started as far as y'all just... Yep, went out there, struggled, and actually I used to, I ended up having to get a job at a budget rent a car, but they rented high-end cars. Oh, okay. So that's how I learned about Ferraris and... Because people would rent them, and I had to show them how to start yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Close the hood, and I'd deliver them to the hotels, Beverly Hills yeah, Hotel. Not a bad gig. So that was kind of like my first bug, you know. Okay. So, yeah, you know, because music wasn't paying anything, and you right. know, live out there was cost a lot, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, I did that, and just make money until some of the songs started hitting, you know, royalties started coming in. Yeah. So, yeah. so it was probably the lowest of lows, you know. So it's still there at Santa Monica and uh, Wilshire. I think it sits, still sits there. Oh, okay. Yep. <clears throat> so yeah, just knocked on doors and trying to pedal songs, you know, get somebody to listen to our songs. Right. <laughs> yeah. Now, the original group, Babyface, was, um, uh, what's the group I'm looking for? The Deal. The Deal, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Classic songs, man. Yeah, this thing drives very nicely, man. It's, it's the naturally aspirated motor is, is, is instant, man. I mean, you yes, just barely good. tap on barely the gas. On. Yeah. Just, I look up, I'm like at 110, 120. Yeah, 120. it's easy to, 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 to lose yeah. yourself. Yeah, exactly. You know, driving this thing. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like I said, I, it's. And when I bought it, the guy said, this is a great driving car. He said, drive this car. Yeah. I said, okay, because my other car, I'd be a little nervous and, you know, yeah. waiting for the engine light to come on. And he said, no, Daryl, he said, you can drive this car. Yeah, so, it's like definitely I said, a driver's car for yeah, sure. Yeah, I love driving it. It's a great car. Yeah. Folks, like you said, you have the shift light in here. Oh, yeah. That lights up. Yep. Get ready to shift and inform you in your shifts. Yeah. this thing you ever took it no, on? No, not yet. No, I'm going to. Yeah, I haven't tracked it yet. We're, oh. we're not too far from <laughs> Rose <Rolling Atlanta. laughs> No, I know. It's right up the It's right there. Man. Yep. It's right there. I took my Porsche up there years ago. That really? was fun. I'm so sure it was. This, yeah, definitely got to do this one. For sure. So when did y'all actually move to Atlanta? 89. 89. Went to Los Angeles in 83. Stayed out there and did the work and started building and said, hey, let's go start our own thing. Couldn't go home because we figured all our friends would ask for jobs and money. Right. Literally, somebody said, oh, Atlanta's a growing city. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Literally, no plan. Packed all our little stuff up, put the cars on the trailers, just showed up, pitched a tent. At first, we thought we had made a mistake when we came because we ended up going back and forth. To LA to work. It's like, what we move here for? Oh, we're going really? back and forth. Yeah, yeah we're going yeah. back and forth. <laughs> so we got to build a studio. You know, the people they'll come and work. Right. It's like, okay. So we built the studio, and everybody, everybody came except Michael Jackson. It's the only one who wouldn't come. Oh, he wouldn't come to Atlanta. So, uh, so we went. LA. Yeah, we went to LA for two weeks. Yeah, but it was Michael Jackson. So what you gonna yeah, do? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You got <laughs> Michael gets what he wants. Yeah. So it was like, okay. 
Yeah, so other than that, yeah, it worked out. And it brought other people here, you know. Right, right. This is kind of the mecca, the Hollywood yeah, of the Yeah, at the time, it just started going crazy. We'll come out of the office, kids down there by our cars. Can I give you a tape? Can I sing for right. you? Like, okay, go ahead, go ahead. It was crazy, man. It was really crazy. Did y'all ever do anything with Prince as far as? No, uh-uh, no. Met him a couple, was around him a couple of times, face knew him, so I would, went to his house once to something and, like I said, met him briefly, but never knew him. And you know, he did his own music. So right. cats like that are self-contained, you know. Right. So uh, yeah. But yeah. So y'all started when y'all got here, did y'all build uh, the house and country club in South and started doing everything there? Yeah, the all? houses were already built. I built a house, but LA and Face's house were already built. Then we started building the studio underneath LA's guest house. Okay. He built the guest house and then we put the studio beneath. It was called Studio La Coco. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's where we recorded so much stuff, man. So yeah, much all music, the magic, man. man yeah. In there, man. Just... And it was close. We just, I ride my bike to the studio. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it was just right around the corner because we all live. Yeah. You know, a proximity, so it was like very convenient, you know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah, it's very cool. That's what's cool about this car is, yeah. is the computer. It will, like even if I'm in auto mode, if I go hit it, it knows that you're getting in it and mm -hmm. the computer will will get in it with, get you, in with you. With you. Uh -huh. That's what's great about this car. So, um, yeah, just a great great driving car I it mean, really is man a you know it's just uh, uh you know it's it's the cream of the of the crop i mean they told me a guy told me that had a 488 said guys that bought 488 sold them and went back went back to the because east. this was a better driving car 488 has more horsepower and more torque right but they said this was a better driving car No, that's very um, interesting you say about how a lot Clear of the, this way. the uh, owners of the, some of the 488s going back to this, you know. Yeah, yeah I told me that. I was like, really? Yeah. So it's just a better car. I had a 488. Like I said, it's enough for me. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm not the guy looking for more and all that shit. It's like, you know, sounds good, looks good, got a little power. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing it. yeah it's a great purchase, man. I'm yeah, happy, I'm, I'm happy with a few of them. Yeah, I'm sure you drive them, so. Yeah. What's, what's your car of choice? I always wanted one of these, but I know, like, from talking to Joey, you, I think a lot of people, when they first buy a Ferrari, I think they make them buy, like, the California or the Portofino first. Yeah, that's what he had. And the grips yeah. first. Mm -hmm. But well, we'll see. I got you. I mean, you'll, you will have test driven them. <laughs> yeah. So that's a good thing about what you, you know, your position. So that's cool. Torque, folks. <laughs> Man, going. goes. No, there's no, there's no waiting around. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's. And these wheels, I mean, this is, man, the suspension, everything, I mean, this this rides really well, man. It's like you won with the car, I mean, it turns a dime, I mean, it's, it's all, they, it's they, all they, in, they, it's precision. Yeah, yeah they, they did a real good job of this. How long you y'all you enjoying all y'all been like when did y'all first? Probably good. Uh, I met Andrew first when I got my F430. Uh -huh. So I guess I met Andrew about five years ago up at the, where I met you at the, yeah, okay. at the Ferrari thing, and uh -huh. he was the only other black guy had a Ferrari. Right. I was so glad to meet him. <laughs> you know, he knew so much about the cars. Yeah. And so me and him hit it off, and then he introduced me to Joey, and 
Capri at the next, when we went, it yeah. was at Perimeter. Captain and I team was at Perimeter, I met Capri. Right. So uh, yeah, we all just kind of, then JC, we met him up at the very first year at Town Center. Okay. He had a, a yeah, like an F8 or F8. something? F8, yeah. F8 Tributo. Yeah, so we met him, he had just got there from Dallas. So we all just kind of, yeah, you know, get together. We Like I said, we get together to see each other yeah. mainly, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody's doing their thing and yeah. live so far apart. So. Yeah. But yeah, just a great group of guys, successful guys that are. Yeah, all you guys you know are I mean? cool, man. I, I met Andrew was the first one. I yeah. actually met. I met him at Caffeine Octane. Yeah. Actually, during the pandemic, he's one of, okay. one of my early videos. Wow, that's and I cool. I saw him pull up, and okay. I was like, man, we gotta get this guy on. Did he have the yellow? He Ferrari? had to go. He had what he has now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what he has now, and uh, we we talked, and uh, uh -huh. we both had our mask on. Oh yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, we was just out there just time. chopping it up, man, talking, and um. Then the next year, I met Joey at the uh, Italian Day. Keep going. All right. Well, that's it for this week, folks. Uh, I want to thank my good buddy, Daryl, for having us over, man. This is royalty, driving in automotive royalty. It's been a, a heck of a day, man. I really appreciate you having us thank up, you, man. man. It was a thank blast. You. Look forward to it. It's great. Well, a lot a, of fun. Yeah, man. Give a quick shout out to my newest subscribers. We got a long list here, folks, so just bear with me. I go as quick as I can. We got a... Money X, Master Devin G. Moore, Roger Womack, Bill Craven, Kevin Malloy, Erin Frazier, Harris 66 James, Coco Coco, Jonathan Sutton as your broadcaster, Rick Reed, Pasta the King, Jody Chisholm, M. Maddock, Lloyd Houlette, Mr. Killer 06, Gregory Will, Tri Tiana, Ranvac, and shouts out to my boy Kenny Fair. Appreciate you all for newly subscribing. Thank you to my current subscribers. I appreciate you guys tuning in every week and uh make sure you go to my website jdubmotorsports.com order you some merch t-shirts keychains got tumblers the whole nine also want to thank my help my son juan who's always on point on helping us out he takes the best photos and always help his daddy look good so i always appreciate him you can follow him on his instagram at jeddock that's j-e-d-d-o-c dot l-l-c on his Instagram and follow me on Instagram at JDub Motorsports. Me and Dad are gonna get out on out of here, man, because it's such a nice day. So we're gonna keep going on and uh hey, we'll catch you next time. Later. He just got it. So how do you select your music to when you put it to it? His buddy is a producer, so he does all the beat for us. Cool. Every now and then if I'm like if I post like on my Instagram story, I might like highlight an artist. Song okay, cool. Kind of highlight, yeah, his buddy does. So you don't know what I do, right? You don't know what I do. No. I didn't never do that. Okay. Okay. Last time I said. Okay. Last time I said. 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 Last we did all that, that Tony Rocks and stuff. We did the country club and stuff. TLC, baby, baby, baby. Right. Uh, you hear so much stories about that house. You know, oh, yeah, it's, 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 it's iconic. We did a lot of the early work there. You know right. what I'm saying? Some of Bobby's work, because when we first moved here, we didn't have a studio. So right. we had to build that, and that took a long time to build it. You know, so in the meantime, we were going to different little studios to work. And once we got it built, shit, man, we worked 24 7. We worked 24 7 back then. Juwan, come here. This is going to be your homework assignment this <laughs> evening. When you get home after the game tonight, you listen to this album right here. That's right. Babyface. That's the classical right there. Tender Lover. Tender Lover. And then listen to yep. For the Cooling cool You. you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's no crime. That's a good up I, I love that whole. You just put that album in, just oh, press yeah. play, oh, and yeah, just listen to it all the way through, man. That's like some of my oh, yeah. on Thursdays. I call it my throwback day. I yeah, just whatever I'm feeling, man. I'm, yeah, yeah, for sure. So, but you, yeah, uh, but yeah, it's a lot of good up tempo music. We didn't do a lot of up tempo, but there's some some good songs like No Crime, Don't Be Cruel, Right the Night. Uh, it's a few few things that got some energy to it. Bobby's humping around. Did you do both of Drew Hill's albums, the Enter to Drew and the, the first one? Well, yeah, but funny story, the first 
the album. I don't want to say something because it would have been music other than that. Yeah. yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, right. Yeah, that, I, was, I don't care. But I just said, hey, maybe we can, you know, use some of the music. That would be cool. You know, with the car. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nowadays they're so strict. Yeah. Yeah.